Hey there, I'm Christopher Guest, the producer of Chess Hyper Royale, a 128 player online multiplayer chess game where every man is for themselves. In Chess Hyper Royale, you no longer have the luxury of just a 3 minute timer. No, you'll be attacked from multiple fronts, and you'll have to lord off these attacks with your own capturing of pieces. This video is going to be about explaining the concept of Chess Hyper Royale and everything that you need to know in order to win the game. First off, let's talk about your board. Your board is pretty much where all the action is going to happen. In standard view, you are able to see the game you're playing and all the other games taking place at the current moment. On the top half of the board, you can see your opponent's name, picture, and the time they have remaining. On your side, you can see the attack bar where attacks are coming in towards you and you can fight them off. You can also see your KO meter, which shows how many knockouts you get. Also on this side of the board, you can see your time remaining. This is all going to be crucial in keeping track of the attacks and defense that you have to put out. First off, let me explain the attack system. The attack system is essentially how players are able to knock other players out. To send an attack, all you have to do is capture a piece. Pieces have different values. When you capture a piece, you take time away from another player on the board. However, you cannot take away time from the player you are facing against unless it is a 1v1 showdown. The values of each of the pieces are as follow. If you capture a pawn, you take away 1 second. Bishops and knights are worth 3 seconds. Rooks are worth 5 seconds, and Queens are worth 9 seconds. So you can see that capturing big ticket pieces are very important in this game. So like I said, when a piece is captured, time is taken from a player based on who is being targeted. Which gets me to the targeting system. In game, you can press a button to pull off the targeting system. There's three different target types that are automatic and you can have a manual target. A player can be targeted automatically by three different criteria. Random, which randomly selects a player. Timeout, the player closest to being KO'd by timeout. Or high KO, which targets the player with the highest KO count. You can also manually target a specific player also. You can also change your view to what is called a zoom view. Essentially, if you set up your attack mode to an automatic attack mode or manual mode, you can zoom in to the four most relatable targets. This way, you can keep tabs on certain players, as you'll be able to see their username and their time remaining, as well as their boards up close. When you eliminate your one-on-one -on -one chess opponent, you are awarded the KO. The person who reduced their time last is also awarded the KO, which adds a multiplier to damage dealt based on this chart which places significant importance on getting KOs, because the higher your KO count, the more damage you can do. If you put your opponent in checkmate, you'll be able to get a bonus piece that you can use on the next round. This can be any of the essential pieces, including rooks, knights, bishops, and queens. You only get one piece though, and you have to replace another piece on the board, so choose wisely. Now let's talk about if you're being attacked in the game. When you are attacked, you have three moves to nullify the damage. This is signaled by different color changes on the attack bar. The number is the number of seconds that will be subtracted from your time if you're attacked successfully. If you nullify the attack damage in three moves, the damage will not be dealt. If you have multiple attacks on you, they will deal damage every three moves if you do not capture a piece. When a piece is successfully captured, you will do a multi-attack cancel, which destroys all attacks on the screen currently. The maximum amount of attacks that can be on you at once is 5. However, if your damage doesn't completely nullify the damage, you have two more moves to remove the rest of the damage before the remaining damage is placed on you. When you beat your one-on-one -on -one opponent, you'll be matched up with another player who has also beat their opponent. On your next match, your time resets to 3 minutes, and play continues until one player remains. And that's all for the base game mode. 
there will be offline modes, like modes against CPU players, a multiplayer offline mode, where you can play with up to four players and CPUs, and there will also be a speedrun mode, which allows you to pit yourself against a CPU opponent and try to get a checkmate as fast as possible. However, I don't have animations for these modes. These were kind of things that just came up in my mind at the last minute. Now let's get to the important parts. While this is a project that can happen, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to be starting a Kickstarter for the project in about a week or two, as I have all the footage I need to make a video for it. I've also set up a Twitter account for Chess Hyper Royale. You can follow that at HyperChess on Twitter. Yes. You can also join the Discord to meet other people who are interested in the project, and also meet the people on the team as they join in. So that's all for this concept video. I hope to see you guys over on the Kickstarter. I really hope that we can make this happen because this could be a really good time. Thank you for watching.